So, hello folks. Got something interesting here. It's going to be a while in the making. Let me just get the camera set up for you. I'll show you. I'll put in one piece in and try and get the camera in a decent position so that you can see what's going on. Now, I am. Um, as you can see from this line here, uh, this this goes into the. Let me. Oh, I can't see from there. This this line here is part of the armour, and it's going to get lost into the face. So I have decided to show it off a little bit more, give it some depth by inlaying uh, veneers to denote the shape you can see here. But we're going to get that piece ready, that piece. That's the one for there. Now this this piece, while it's going to go in there, it's only going to be going in to hold the veneer in place while it dries. And here we have a piece of veneer. To say it's fiddly is a bit of an understatement. Get it to its approximate size. out the dribble of glue you can only glue one side of it These pieces will be well the pieces that I use this this bit. It's not difficult to do per se, it's just fiddly to do.
I'll blow your house down. Can't get glue on the inside face. Now, very messy, very fiddly. in hold the veneers in place like I say this piece of wood will come out eventually and be replaced by something else quite what I haven't made my mind up And to the most part, the, that's part of the interesting bit is making it up as you go along. Now all of the all of the armour on this girl will have this these lines. And then like I say, the infill here, these will be coming out, and an exotic wood will be used to do the infill. We've got the lips here, they're going to be done the same way. This line that you see here, that's going to be a red veneer with a and other wood infill eventually, so that there's a definitive line of red with probably something like Pau Rossa, which is a nice red colour, and then the same will be done. on this section here you can see you follow that line all the way round now I'm going to be doing discount that shape that 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 discount those shapes for now the whole of this will be done in yellow heart which is a nice it looks quite naff in the first instance. I'm just having a look see if I can find a piece to show you. There we go. That's yellow heart. Quite a nice quite a nice colour. It is natural. And that piece four inch by four inch by three millimeters is about 16 or 17 pound which is <laughs> ridiculously expensive but it is what it is 
kind of wish I'd got a cheaper hobby, but and I'm so much better off making something like this than I am of making as I've shown that I think I've shown them before making simplistic clocks like this no timepiece goes in there it took about seven hours to cut that and I was bored I can't do it lots of people seem to think that I should do it and that I would earn millions of pounds by doing it but it's it's not me, it's not where I am. I've evolved from uh, doing that sort of thing. I've evolved to doing this type of picture. And as you've seen by the other videos, by all means, I mean, leave, leave comments, please, leave comments. Anyway, it was just to, it was just to show you how that is inlaid. It'll be a lot tidier once it's all scraped back. Oh, and obviously the other, other wood's got to be inlaid. But yeah, it's just just a how-to. Just showing you. And you can see how long. It didn't take that long. What was it? About seven minutes or so to do that. But when you think there's a hundred or so pieces to do like that, it's uh, the time mounts up. Hence why these things take me two and three and four hundred hours to do. Quite a lot of time. But there you go. Anyway, folks, thanks for popping in. Leave comments. Pop along and have a look at the other videos that I've done, by all means. You get a better picture of the overall thing. I'll be popping video, short, small videos up at, um, once or twice a week for the duration of making this so that you can see it as it comes along. And then the bit that I, out of everything that I do, is a bit that comes right at the very end. The oiling of the whole thing brings the woods to life brings all the pups, the grain, lovely. It brings the coloration of the woods out. It is, ah, I can't wait to get to that bit. That's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, like I say, thanks for popping along. Any comments, by all means. Um, anything that you want to see, maybe even suggestions of stuff to make. Um, and then there's the other videos, the spread art page on, on Facebook, Custom Wood Artist on, on Facebook, the photograph album on there, lots to see. But this is, uh, this is uh, just a work in progress, you, you will get there eventually, but I think I'm going to lose, I think I could lose 300 hours in this crazy time but there you go that's what it is anyway folks cheers thank you we'll see you again soon bye